Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY with Dewey. So today we have our DeWalt DCE 100 blower. So this is a little 20 volt blower. So this blower isn't working anymore. You put a battery in and when you pull the trigger, it doesn't really do anything. So what you want to do is take a T10 bit right here and it's a little star bit. So undo all the screws. Once you undo all the screws, you can put it on a ratchet or just a screwdriver, whatever, depending on what T10 bit you have. And then this handle lifts up. And there's nothing really on this. It's holding all the screws, but underneath is pretty simple. There. All right, we're gonna set that aside and I can tell already what happened. If you look at this, look at the negative. It's detached from this terminal right here. The positive looks like it's still positive. All right, so it looks like the other terminals are all attached still. Here, let's go ahead and remove this hose. So you rotate this that way and then you can pull this out. All right, so what you're left with is this little switch. Here, we can remove that. We're gonna remove all these little parts so it's not in the way. Disc I can use. Okay. Here, hold this, let's go ahead and remove this bit. And I'm gonna put on my grinding disc right here. I think this will clean it up pretty nice. And I want it this way. So go ahead and remove this. I'm gonna flip it upside down. And this is more of a cutting disc, but I'm gonna use it to grind. Um, make sure you wear goggles and gloves. All right, so you gotta be really careful with this so you don't mess up anything else. Right. So I'm gonna move these wires like this. Don't bend it too much because you don't want the wires to break. The switch cover is coming off already, too. All right, check that out. So this cover pops off. There's little pins holding it in place. These little tabs. Looks like this other one broke. This has been pretty beat up. But okay. Now I'm just going to grind this terminal. Here, grind it a little more. We want it flat. We have a female connector, wire connector, we can attach. All right. Let's, let's see which wire connector we can use. All right. So all I found was this one. We'll go ahead and use it. So let's see if it fits. All right. So this will fit. I don't want to force it on there because it'll be hard to remove. We can splice this. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to splice this wire. I'm going to give it a little bit of room. So you see how this wire is like this? What I'm gonna do is strip this wire. Looks like this was added in there. This doesn't even look original. Somebody opened this up. Yeah. 
mess with it. Here, what if we attach this? Okay, so what we're gonna do is attach this to this. All right, and then now we're gonna attach this to this terminal right here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of electrical tape just so it doesn't get shorted out. Yeah, something wiggles in there. So I'm gonna make sure this is separated. There we go. And if you can solder, that'd be a more permanent fix. My dad actually gave me this years ago. And it looks like he dove into this and did some repairs or whatever. So we'll see if this actually works. But yeah, I learned how to fix a lot of things from my dad when I was growing up. All right. And let's go ahead and put these little pieces back in. This little tab goes over this button. And you make sure this is facing that way. All right, this handle can go back in. sure everything works before we put the screws back. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just tighten all the screws, hand tighten all the screws. I'm not going to torque it down or anything yet. But even if this is a torqued, it's probably not much. It's like three foot panels. Pretty small screws. I'm not even using a ratchet for this. It'll probably just strip the plastic if I use the ratchet. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. All right, all of them are hand tightened. That's about two, two foot pounds, three foot pounds. <laughs> all right. Okay, so that keeps it on. That lets it go. Power. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. Here, put this back on too. I'm gonna grab my battery. Fingers crossed it doesn't blow up on us. That slow speed. Medium, high. 
right, low. And then what do you have here? Do you see these little, the switch right here? You press it and then you slide it. And it stays on. So you can slide it either way. You can slide it. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I curbed this thing and my wife told me to just fix it. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Open it up. What, five minutes to fix it? And we're good to go. It worked. All right, well, let me know if you run into any issues, but there was just a disconnected ground wire. And we got it up and running.